Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has started rolling out this month, July 2022's optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, KB5015878, which they started making available on the 26th of July, which was late yesterday in my region. And I'm receiving my update today on the 27th. Now, this latest optional update is rolling out for Windows 10 versions 21H2, 21H1 and Windows Server version 20H2. And, and this is exactly the same update I posted on uh, more or less a week ago, which was in preview in the release preview channel. And now has started rolling out to the stable version and stable versions of Windows 10 KB5015878. And the optional C release updates that roll out near the end of every month, as I do mention, are optional. So you don't have to install the update. And I always suggest that only install optional updates that will appear here in Windows Update. Um, and you will then have the option to download and install the update if you would like to. But I always suggest ignore the update if you are happy with the way your system is running. Else just leave the update alone as a lot of the add-ons and fixes will be carried over into uh, next month's uh, August, uh, the patch Tuesday. That's the second Tuesday of next month, August, that compulsory automatic um, cumulative update anyway. Now, if you do decide to install the update, you restart your device. And if you are interested, the update will be listed under view updates. And that will be uh, under other updates for Windows 10. Um, cumulative update preview for Windows 10, KB5015878. Now, um, the add-ons and uh, improvements and fixes are more or less very similar to what I did post on a week ago when it was still in preview. But in case you missed that video, just to go through some of those key highlights quickly, and um, there's not much to show you, so I'll have to just make quick mention of some of these key highlights. Um, there are two new minor add-ons and features. Uh, the first... Um, is a notification bypass and that's um, regarding the focus assist and notifications that gives you the option now to receive important notifications when focus assist is on and um, in case you are unaware focus assist focus assist is like a do not disturb mode um, that hides notifications in windows 10 and windows 11 and then the second new add-on just to mention that quickly uh, there's functionality that's been restored for Windows Autopilot deployment scenarios that are affected by the security mitigation for hardware reuse. And that's the only two minor add-ons that have rolled out in 5015878. Now, just to uh, go through the uh, important and key bug fixes quickly. Um, there was an issue that caused certain docking stations to lose internet connectivity when waking from sleep mode. That has been addressed. Um, and then there's a a, a, a add-on here that says adds functionality that improves the OS upgrade experience. Now, Microsoft is not telling us what that actually means. And if I just head down to some other points, uh, in, uh, some other points here in the release notes, they say here that it adds functionality that caches additional audio endpoint information to improve the OS upgrade experience. And that at this stage, that's all the information Microsoft is giving us regarding that add-on. And then there's two um, issues affecting um, games and game gaming rigs. Um, there was an issue that caused consecutive video clip playback to fail in games that use DirectX 12. That's been addressed. And also an issue that was affecting certain games that use the X-Audio API to play sound effects. That's also been addressed. So that's two fixes for um, uh, machines if you do a lot of gaming. And then um, if we just um, uh, uh, enable the uh, search box quickly. Uh, the search box had an issue that affected the height of the search box when um, some users were using multi-monitors multi -monitor, multi that have different resolutions. Now, that has been addressed. So um, according to Microsoft, the height of the search box now will uh, be exactly the same now uh, in a multi-monitor setup after you have applied this update. And then the last key highlight to mention is that 5015878 um, addresses an issue that prevented certain troubleshooting tools. Those are the built-in troubleshooting tools bundled in Windows 10 from opening now um as mentioned um this is a bug fix update and just to make mention of one or two other um, um uh, fixes in case you're interested uh there's been a reduction in the overhead resource contention in high input and output operations per second ROPS for short scenarios that have many threads contending on a single file um, that's um, an improvement and then the last one worth mentioning 
um, the, the, the uh, reliability of a push button reset after an OS upgrade has been improved as well. And that's more or less what's new in KB5015878. Not much to really show you in the form of new features or anything like that. And if you have um, decided to install the update, once the update has been applied, uh, the latest stable version now of Windows 10 version 21H2, the OS build, will be bumped up to 190.44.1865. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.